My name's Gregory Pearson. I've decided to start this YouTube channel because on my Instagram I've been getting lots of messages from new lifters in the sport powerlifting as well as experienced lifters asking lots of different questions about equipment, techniques and anything to do with the sport. On this channel I'll be showing you how I train, how I eat, the equipment I use while I'm training and what happens at competitions like the different environments that vary from competition to competition and what I prefer. I may only be 14 but I've been asked literally hundreds of times how I got into the sport. Well it started when I was 10 years old and I made a decision that I wanted to be a professional wrestler. So me and my dad came up with a solution that obviously you've got to be strong. So we just started using a little flimsy bench and a few dumbbells that I've got in my garage which I'll show you on a later video. But from there we progressed on and on and we in between the lockdowns we found a little gym not too far away, about a two minute drive from my house. And in there there was a ton more equipment which allowed me to strongly progress as a lifter. And during that time uh, ben the bench press really stuck out as my strongest lift. And when I started benching about 80 kilos for three reps my dad stumbled across a powerlifting website called the BPU, the British Powerlifting Union, and he looked at their records. It turned out I was beating the bench press. The deadlift was also an exercise that I was doing at the time, which turned out I was also pretty close to their British record with that as well. However, the squat I hadn't really done before. Uh, so after a few months, of that, that really, really took some time to get used to with the positioning on the back, it re it brought me to tears sometimes. I just hated it, but I stuck with it and ground it out, and I dare say squat's my favorite lift now. After four months of good training and commitment to it, I did my first competition at Ultraflex Gym in Rotherham, which was a BPU qualifier for the British and European Championships. At that competition, I hit eight British records, which was a big accomplishment for me, I was very proud of that. But straight on my mind was the British Championships about five weeks later, which I upped them British records there and took the gold medal in the 67.5 kilo class. And as well, I won the Best Lifter Award, which I'm still very proud of that and I got an incredible dagger for it, which means a lot but again next competition was straight on my mind about five weeks later as well the european championships which lucky for me it was also in manchester meaning i didn't have, a, have to travel that far at there again i won my category and won the best lifter again which i'm happy i did but the main takeaway for me that day was getting my first world record it was the deadlift world record and I remember that moment every day when I hit that lift nothing has ever felt like that since. Uh, three months later was the world championships in Portugal which was going to be my first time lifting in a foreign country to me which I was very nervous about and but when I got there though I was in the mood for it and just ready to lift some big weight which I got another, I extended my deadlift world record, got the squat world record, and the total. Since then, not only have I competed for the BPU, but I decided to hunt for more competition and join another federation called British Powerlifting, where I won the sub junior, which is under 19, category which were great knowing that I'm the best under 19 in the country, even though I'm 14, which I'm blown away by that. And from then, I've only just got back from Hungary at the European Championships for this year, where I've took multiple world records and came first in every category that I competed in. In total, I have 17 world records and 17 European records. 
I have 51 British records. I'm also the reigning world champion. I have 5 European championships and 8 British championships that I've won. Right now I'll show you some of the trophies and medals that I've won in my short time in powerlifting. As a result of these great performances in powerlifting, I've been lucky enough in the recent weeks to have gained myself a sponsor which have gifted me this very good quality t-shirt they're called Alpha Official and I'd highly recommend them this is a t-shirt for the rest of the year I'm still staying quite busy and this week coming I'll be at the British Championships at the end of August, I'll be competing in Ireland at the Irish Pro Invitational, a very prestigious event. And the following month in September, I will be at the World Championships to defend my world title, which I'm very lucky is in Manchester. On next week's episode, you'll see a lot of me at the British Full Power Championships. While I'm there, I'll show you what happens at the weigh-ins, how you set your rack heights for the squat and the bench press, on the Thursday I'll be competing in the Classic Raw category and on the Saturday I'll be competing in the Single Ply Equipped category. I'll be showing you guys what happens at these high level competitions. I'd like to thank you all for watching and I hope we have a very good journey going forward.